I'm Jennifer Marie Keller, and this is part two of this painting being made. I start this by working in the lights, because before this day I had started from the darks, and I worked my into the and I worked my way into the lights, and so now I'm starting in the lights and working my way into the darks, uh, and that's kind of how I get a pattern established. So after I get the drawing set in and things start feeling really solid, I'll usually work back and forth where one day I'm working the darks into the lights and the next day the lights into the darks. Okay, so I mix up my lights and I'm thinking Sergeant, Sergeant, Sergeant because I've been looking through his book and how he handles paint. It just looks so fun and I really want to try it out some more. So I decide that I'm really going to fill up my brush with loads of paint and get nice brushy strokes. And I, I start working on um, the white area of the mouth muzzle area section of the mask. And I always do this thing when I get really excited about trying <laughs> something new that I don't always apply what I previously learned about painting technique and then my painting kind of gets away from me and that's what happened in this area and um, it's not bad it's just not as controlled as I usually have it I'm usually a lot more careful and I dry brush for longer as I'm slowly building up the drawing the, the proper values and the proper color of it but I kind of just um, dove in with a lot of paint and it's fine I'm, I make it work and then I go into the carving parts of the mask and I start laying in some richer tones there and uh, in that area and so in the the carving area of the mask and then also in the the wider parts of the mask like the eyes and the nose and the mouth area I just keep working on improving the drawing always improving the drawing and then improving the values the next day I work in the darks, so I'm working from the darks into the lights since the previous day was working lights into the darks. And I'm working mostly on the shadows of the box, the flowers and the stems, and then a bit into the mask where the mask really sinks itself into those shadows. And I'm using different brushes that I'm used to, some um, softer brushes that I have. And at school, we were really encouraged to use stiff bristle brushes that give you the ability to then really be able to push the paint around because the bristles are strong enough that they can do that. But um, since I'm, I've recently graduated, I'm having a lot of fun trying out new things for myself. And so I, I have these brushes that I, um, I think I used them in college, but not since I had been at my atelier that are softer and I'm finding that I can get a really nice effect with the paint in that way and how I'm, I'm able to manipulate the paint with the brush in a very um, fluid kind of look to them. And the brushes, they're, they're synthetic and they're not too, they're not too soft so they still pick up paint but from what I'm used to the really stiff bristle brushes they feel really soft to me but they're not like um, they're not just like those type of brushes that are almost like makeup brushes where it just um, kind of pushes the paint around like so little that you're just really like doing like little cosmetic changes and you don't see brush strokes. These you can still see the brush strokes with them. But um, since it's giving the, this like very nice uh, fluid effect to the painting, I feel like that this is nice that I can, um, that's just another thing in my arsenal that I can add more variety into the pa into the painting by having these really soft fluid strokes compared to the, um, the stiffer, rougher brush strokes that I get with the stiff bristle brushes. And I feel like I could really only be using these brushes, um, really effectively in the darks and the shadows because the, the dark paints, uh, have ivory black in them which have a lot more um, uh, oil so that the paint can get moved around a lot and I, I feel like since I already have the, the base of the paint layer 
um, built up with the, the stiffer bristle brushes that using these softer brushes on top has a nice effect with it. I, I don't think I could start out a painting quite effectively with these softer brushes, but using it kind of in the middle of the painting process, it's working quite nicely. And then the next day I work into the lights. And so I, I look at the, the mask, the light areas on the mask, and I'm seeing that the I need to make a temperature shift in the mask. Um, it's pretty warm what I have and I want to make it a lot cooler. This painting is a pretty cool painting overall. There's definitely temperature shifts where you see where it gets very cool and then also warmer temperatures, but overall it's a pretty cool painting and I um, I just have too, too much warmth in the mask. So I'm trying out some different things, dry brushing a bit on, on top of the area so I'm not messing with the the drawing too much, just trying to shift the temperature. And now um, once once I feel like the temperature then has shifted into a cooler area, I want to build the painting up more. So I'm, I'm using a bit of medium mix in with my paint so it gets a little bit more um, fluid. And during my lunch break, I'm um, eating and looking at my, my painting and feeling that I really need to start getting some more light into this painting. It's definitely a dark painting, but there's a really strong, beautiful, um, luminous light that I want to get in there. And it doesn't quite have that yet. So I want to like really push that value up. So, um, so I started in the light areas of the mask and it was such a cool experience like really pushing those values up because I've really simplified the the darks in the painting. So um, later on, I know that I'm going to make the darks and the shadow shape lighter in some areas, but I've really simplified it to get it very dark. So the painting looks very dark right now. So as I'm painting the lights into the mask, it really feels like the mask is getting pulled out of the box that um, the window pane plane of the canvas, which is uh, really cool. It's a really cool experience to see that happen. I started in the mouth, and so the mouth is the um, part of the mask that's the furthest thing towards the viewer. So it was cool to see the um, the illusion of the the mouth part getting pulled out and then pulling out other other areas of, of it was. Um, really fun. It was feeling like then like I was sculpting the mask out of the painting. And that's it for part two of this painting. Stay tuned for part three as I keep uh, developing this painting.